Um, I've been making a lot of videos on my animals lately because I'm all alone, alone at home and I'm quite bored. And I know that it is not really interesting or you can't really, like, I don't think it's interesting. But yeah, I, I wanted to show all of our pets. So the attention to these animals is evenly divided between our family members. So, I mean, some of the animals you'll see are not mine, they're either my sister's or whatever. But it's actually just me and my sister who have animals, so I will show them from, I guess, small to big, which would be easiest. So, I'm in my sister's room. <laughs> Let me see if I can put this on somewhere, I don't know, hold on. I guess these are the, the smallest ones we have, they're also the least interesting. They're two regular goldfish, but yeah, they also have a very tiny aquarium, even tinier than my pond. I'm not gonna put them in the pond though, because my ferrets would probably eat them. But yeah, those are tiny little goldfish. Cannot say too much about them. They're quite cute and entertaining to watch, but other than that, they're just fish. The other one is a tiny bit more interesting, but still not. Uh, these enclosures all are all made by my sister, so they're just a bunch of rocks, which is still okay. There he is. Let me get him out. Let me get him out. You're a bit, a little bit camera shy, aren't you, buddy? So this is a turtle. I think it's a yellow belly. I know, I'm not sure. I'm not too good with uh, turtle species, but yeah, this is a little turtle. Um, he is actually quite old, but you know, turtles can get a little bit, can get quite an age. He's a little bit shy, but he's quite cute. Look at his little face. Look at his little face. <laughs> he's so confused. Why am I out of here? Yeah, he's really cute. I'm gonna let him swim now. Uh, I'll put you right back here, buddy. And then you can swim away. Usually when I back up, yeah, there he goes. <laughs> I was sleeping. Why did you wake me up? So these are the two smallest, I guess. <sighs> On to my dikus. These are the second smallest. There, on top of there is Ava. Ava is really, really shy. Really shy. She really doesn't, doesn't like me at all. She hates me. But it's okay, they're all cute. And you know, if she doesn't want to cuddle with me, she really doesn't have to. Uh, Dikus sometimes like cuddling, sometimes they don't. It depends on the character you have, actually. But yes, most of them just be like Ava and just sit there. So, I call her Angry Ava. They have a big impressive enclosure. At first I wanted to make this a jungle enclosure too, but there were a few problems. Uh, and the biggest one was that they would eat the plants, which I didn't want. So I just gave them this enclosure, which still is pretty good. The cloth you see on there, I did not put it in there. That was laying on top, they pulled it in. So, pretty impressive enclosure. And there's Lucy. She's eating. Hi Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Oh, she's so cute. She's the most tame one from the two, but she doesn't like the ferret smell, I guess. Oh, you wanna climb on top of my hand, Lucy? I love Digus. They're really intelligent rodents, though you need to give them their space if they want to. Hi, Lucy. I like to cuddle with Lucy. She's nice. Hi. I give them a lot of toys because I love seeing them play with the toys. So yeah, this is their big enclosure. Next is an animal that I barely show because he really doesn't do anything. Uh, this is Vince or Vincent, but you know, I call him Vince for short because I like Vince more than Vincent. Uh, there he is. Um, I like to redecorate his enclosure. There's some poop in there. Don't worry, I'll clean it. He rarely poops <laughs> because uh, currently he eats dry food. Now, though it is better for these guys to eat... I'm sorry for the wind chimes. Hold on, let me grab them here. It's better for them to eat live food, like crickets or mealworms, which I usually give them mealworms because the crickets tend to ex escape here. There he is. Uh, I'll take him out for a second. Let's see if he likes that. Vince, will you like to, to show yourself? Oh, no, he's holding onto his branch. There he is. Hi, Vince. Hi, Vince. Yeah, I rarely take him out. He'd rather just, you know, sit up on his branch and bask a little bit. But bearded dragons are pretty cool and they can also connect to their owners a lot. Let me put him on my leg. He would feel more comfortable on there. Hi, Vince. His 
uh, nails are colored red because of the sand, because of the red sand, which is pretty funny. Hi! Mostly in the summer, the cricket supply is better because we usually uh, feed him crickets from the Netherlands. We are not allowed to go to the Netherlands, or you, you need a permit at least to go there. So, uh, yeah, but he's getting dry food, which, which is just nutritious enough, but I'd much rather feed him live food, including worms and tiny little crickets. Hey, you want to say hi, Vince? I think Vince is one of the interesting uh, animals. Oh, <laughs> he wants to go back. It's okay, I'll, I'll put you back in your cage. Hold on. There you go, big guy. Go. Next are my ferrets. I've shown them a lot. I, uh, they've been with me two weeks, I guess. When, you want to guys come out and say hi? Let's see if I can get one out. There he, she is. This is Freya. They look, they look very similar. Are you licking my nose? Well, kisses are kisses, I guess. This is Freya. She just woke up. I'm sorry I woke you up, sweetie. I love ferrets. They're very playful. They are small, you can take them anywhere, and I'm training these to be emotional support animals. And uh, from this point on, the training is pretty good, but you know, they have very short attention spans. Yes. Can you just stay with me for a second? No? Okay, this is Freya. I'm gonna put them back. This is their main enclosure, which is the biggest one, but I'm gonna, they have a, a, a separate sleeping encl uh, enclosure in the caravan. Uh, just to avoid noise right next to my bed. Let me get you. There we go. This is Nora, the sister of Freya. Hi, Nora. Yes. You're so cute. They're both very playful. I love them to death. They're so cute. And I'm going to give them the best life they can ever get. Isn't that right? Yes. <laughs> there she goes. So those are my ferrets. She's on my bed. Okay, for the next animal, I quickly had to see if they were home. Well, Rock is, so Ona probably also is. These are two uh, pigeons. I believe they're called sports pigeons. I'm not very sure. I'm not sure what, what they're called, but yeah, they're pigeons. Um, oh, there's Ona. We rescued them from um, a guy who was about to get them confiscated because he had like 500 pigeons crammed into one tiny little space um, and we rescued them when they were just babies so we fed them uh, with like a syringe um, and they're pretty tame now I don't know if you can see Ona she's pretty dark and Ro where did Rock go? oh she's up the stairs uh, I'm, maybe I'll roll a clip in here somewhere of uh, of the the baby pigeons when they were flying in the house Hello! <laughs> yeah, I went leave. Oh, oh, oh Op my no. Ja, idiote duif. Kom hier. Kom hier. <laughs> Pik niet mijn gezicht. <laughs> Kom op. Pik water. Oh, nee. <laughs> God damn it. Hier, pik water. The, those are the pigeons. I decorated the enclosure with these nice plants uh, and these like vine like plants. I love the way this looks. They have a pretty big inside enclosure and they can also fly out. So, yeah, those are our pigeons. Caught you. These are my sister's rabbits actually. This is Noodle. She's the smallest one, aren't you? Yes. Oh, she's so cute. I love these tiny dwarf rabbits. So this is Noodle. I'm going to put you back down. There you go. Let's see where her, I think, brother is. I'm not sure. We got them from a pet store. There you are. Oh, there you go. And this is Specky because he's kind of fat. This is a male. He is neutered. So he will not cause any harm to all our other females. I'm going to put you down as well. There you go. So these are the tiny rabbits. Let's see if the big ones are in here. I say big ones, they're also a dwarf mix. Nope, oh, there's an egg in there. Wait, are they in the chicken enclosure? Are they in the chicken pen? You guys better not be in the chicken. Oh, oh God, well, there you are. Um, I don't know if you can see. That one there, I'm not gonna pick up because she's pregnant. Uh, not from this guy, but from a random rabbit she ran off with. 
Uh, luckily she came back, but this is Fluffles. Um, she's called that because she's extremely fluffy and big. Um, yeah, she's cute. And then Piccolo is the other rabbit in here. There's Piccolo. She is eating the chicken food because they literally have a lot of food themselves. Then we have the chickens. This is Dolores. She's our OG chicken. She was one of the first we had. Uh, she came together with another chicken whose beak was like crooked. Unfortunately, she passed away a few weeks after we got her. But yeah, Dolores is still here. She's a few years old. She's a Dutch crested chicken and she's absolutely lovely. Yes, I love my chickens to, to death. They're so cute. I love them. Hi, Dolores. <laughs> she's like, are we done now with this shit? All right, I'm gonna put you back. There you go. This is Dortje. She's flapping right now because I didn't hold her wings. There's Dortje. She's a silky chicken, uh, all white ch silky chicken. See, she's fluffy and super tame. Yes, you want to say something to me? She's very tame and she's super cute and fluffy. I love silkies. Uh, yeah, Dortje. Let me put you down. Yes, I know you were minding your own business and then I caught you. Let me get you. This is Rosa. She's new. Uh, we got her a few weeks ago as well, like a few days before I got the ferrets, which was a, a big uh, chicken range where we got her. Hi. She's not too tame yet, but she's doing good. Look at her. How do you even see? How do you even see? Oh, you're so cute. Mm, Rosa. <laughs> This is Claire. Um, unfortunately, I think she's a little bit sick, but I'm gonna arrange for some medicine that we can give her. Um, I really hope she'll get better. She's so cute. We've only had her for a few weeks, but still, I hate it when animals get sick, but she's a bit sick right now, and I hope she makes it. Um, yeah. Oh, it's gonna be okay, baby. It's gonna be okay. She's a beautiful chicken. She's gray and white. Great chicken. I'm gonna put her back where the food was so she can eat. Hopefully she'll get better, uh, but I'm gonna see if I can get her some medicine. So those were the, the, the smaller animals. So uh, I'll get back to something different now. This is Milo. He's in his natural habitat. He's really tired because we just went for a walk. Uh, why we went for a walk, I can't say yet because you'll see that later in this video. Oh, there you go, Milo. Uh, he's our pet dog. He's a Cocker Spaniel. He's three years old. He seems older because he's lazy as all heck. You're a little bit lazy, Milo. You're a little bit lazy. But yeah, he's really cute. He's a good boy. Come here. He's a good boy. Yes, you're a good boy. He doesn't understand why I'm doing this. So yeah, that's our dog, Milo. Is going to lay somewhere else and sleep. I'm going to save the, the the biggest one for last, even though I'm filming this first. Uh, and for this one, we have to hop into the car because it's not at our house. Okay, Milo. Milo, do you want to come with us, Milo? Do you want to come with us, Milo? Milo. You're such a cute boy. You're such a cute boy. Look at him. How is this even possible? How are you so cute? Oh no, he looks concerned. <laughs> he looks concerned. I'm sorry, my lol. You're a cute boy. Come here! Come here! 
She does not pay attention not to it at all. Ready, come here. Ready. There he goes. There she is. The very last one. No, 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 no. Hi. Hi, girl. Would you like a carrot? Would you like a carrot? I take that as yes. My sister is grabbing her right now because I'm filming. And she does that most of the time. Hello. I bet you didn't expect this, did you? <laughs> With all my chickens. So this is our horse, Bridie. She's really sweet and really nice. Um, my sister, t hello. This is not one of our horses. We only have one, which is more than enough. Um, my sister typically rides her professionally. Well, professionally. <laughs> she actually rides her with the purpose of riding her. And I mostly cuddle with her and ride her sometimes for therapeutic purposes. So I use her for hippotherapy. Wanna say hi? Wanna say hi? She's eating her carrots. She, oh. <laughs> she loves the carrots. She dies for the carrots, literally. She almost ate my phone once because she thought it was a carrot. Like, I'm not joking, but she's the <laughs> sweetest. She's so nice and she tolerates pretty much everything. She's a little bit slow, but don't eat my goddamn phone. <laughs> Stop eating my phone. She's a little bit slow. She but has the same bad hair as I have. <laughs> yeah, she has a bit of a bad hair today, but this is our horse, Brady. And we visit her sometimes once or twice a week, sometimes every two weeks, depends on the weather. But yeah, she likes to cuddle, which is what we're going to do now. I'm doing my uh, explanation right here, because come on, dude, move away. <laughs> Don't fart in my face! She farted in my face, or he, I don't know. Come on, come on! I'm explaining about her here because I feel awkward doing it around the other people. So, uh, she's standing not, she's not at our house, obviously, because we do not have the space for it. So she... Yet? yet. <laughs> Hopefully once we will have the space to move her in with us. But for right now, she just stays here, which is... Uh, good enough. Yeah, it's good enough. So we pay some money for her to stay here where there's plenty of space, plenty of grass, plenty of food. So she eats the grass from here. And then we just, all the fun things are left for us to do. And she also poops here. That's also very important. And she also does that a lot. <laughs> and scratches behind her here. So yes. we have to pick it up. <laughs> yes. Are you not going to poop this time? She probably will. Spirit, get lost. You're not coming with us. Come on, man. I know it's your uh, pretend mommy, but no, you're not coming with us. I'll keep him back. sister. She's a little bit bigger than him. But they both love food just as much. I'm glad that the dog who is here um, doesn't jump on Milo. Yeah. Milo doesn't like him.